Um, I'm actually very tempted, so I can keep talking to the people in the chat on Twitch, to do something y'all probably haven't seen before. But, we'll leave that for later. <laughs> Phew, that should do it. Oh, we knocked over a sign. Vivi a klutz. Oh look, it's that little jackass from earlier. Hey you, shrimp, you're the one with the phone ticket, ain't ya? I saw that guy tell you he was a fake. Yeah, it was fake. Uh, oh, I'm not gonna be your slave, you jackass. Except I have to, or the game won't go on. Uh, go to bed, see if anyone's coming. Um, yes, it's clear. I guess. If you said it wasn't clear, somebody would come along and steal your money. You don't want that. You want to keep your money. Money is a good thing to have. <laughs> now we're gonna climb the tower. It's very dangerous. You go first. Because <laughs> you are now my slave. But before I do that, I'm going to loot this area. Try and go up the thing? Boom. It's, it's obviously a Moogle. I mean, haven't you played a Final Fantasy... Oh, wait, of course you haven't played a Final Fantasy game before you're in one. This is slave number one. There's more than one. Try to get along, okay? Kubo, pleased to meet you. Sorry. I'm sorry. I enter you a Moogle diary. Oh, God, they're going to be... They're going to get the most annoying voices I can possibly make, aren't they? You understand? Sure. Glad well, I can help, Koopo! Alright, time for some upward mobility. And now we just get to... Vivi, why for the ability to go see a play did you completely and utterly sell your soul and become some dude's slave? It's not... Koopo, you here? Oh god, so many moogles. Koopo! Stiltskin! What? Why that get up? You leaving, Koopo? Oh, I can't even keep that vo my voice that high for that long. Yeah, and this time I'll be away for a long time. I miss you, Koopo. As my knuckles crack on the recording. Yeah, Stiltskin is running away, blah 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 blah. Yes. So, evidently, he was a friend. No, they're actually mortal enemies. Koopa and Stiltskin hate each other because, uh, Stiltskin killed Koopa's parents. Let's see. Magnets. This is another little mini quest that I've only ever managed to completely do when I was, um, um, doing a perfect game run. There we go. My English, it is bad today. Don't judge me. For those of you on the YouTube recording, um, the people in the Twitch chat, all one of them, can see this, but you guys cannot. I am actually playing, not playing with my hands. I am, in fact, manipulating the controller with my feet so I can type at the same time. Which is going to make certain parts of the game very interesting. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. And as before, we go around looting all of the what I thought were bags, but actually are birds' nests. We are Vivi. So your name's Vivi, huh? <laughs> kind of funny name. My name's Puck. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> and Puck's any better? gonna go down here and do some more looting. Oh, too far. There we go. Um, so I think I have one more bird nest that I'm supposed to grab. There we go. Six 
62 gold. I wish I had more. More gold is always better. Oh. Phew, we finally made it! After this, we'll be inside the castle. Come on, let's go! Okay. And then more cutscenes. At least it's not as bad as Xenosaga. Xenosaga was nothing but cutscenes. Nothing but cutscenes. And wait for it. Wait for it. Hi. Oh, Queen Brawn. You... You aren't human. There is no way you are human. Humans don't have blue skin. Hi, Steiner. It's so pretty. Hey look! It's me! Yes, I say it's me because I have that outfit. Nice done. Now we've got... Oh god, Baku again. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. Our heroine, Princess Cornelia, is torn from a lover Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle only to be captured by her father, King Leo. When our story begins, Marcus, having heard of this, crosses swords with the king. And now, your royal highness, Queen Braun, your Highness, Princess Garnet, noble lords and ladies, and all rooftop viewers, Tantalus proudly presents, I Want to Be Your Canary, a ripoff of every play Shakespeare has ever done. So this part of the game, I can't actually move past the dialogue, so I'm not going to be controlling it for a bit. Fortune hath escaped thee. For what end shalt thou live? For the sake of our friend, let us bury our seal in the heart of the wretched King Leo. I can't... I can't actually say their lines here, at least not effectively. It goes by too quick. We shall back thee, kinsman! Pray, sheathe thy sword, this will is mine alone. See, that was me speaking as fast as I possibly could, and I still couldn't finish the line before I went to the next one. And no, I am not controlling this. You do that, Zidane. Okay, so... You can either mess around in this fight and make it look really cool, or you can just kill the dude. Come on, there we go. I have to play with my hands for a bit, it's easier. Yes, I'm not even gonna bother healing Senna. There's no point. Just keep attacking King Leo until he dies. Or, by Leo I mean Baku. And yeah, the magic does no damage, it's purely special effects. So that wasn't a very long fight. Erg, grr, arg, grr, arg. That was not seen last me, Marcus. There we go, now I have control. Out of the way, Blank. Consider this, Zidane. If Prince Schneider were to marry Prince, Prince Schneider, what kind of name is Prince Schneider? Tis foolishness. If all were so easy, why none would suffer in this world? 
I can't even give Zidane a voice because I don't even know what his would be. Oh, this music. Oh, it gives me shivers. Okay. Cracking my knuckles. Let's do this. No, we are going to get 100% on this. I know that I can't in this one because you have to do it without missing a single one. But still. I've done it before dozens of times. I can do it this time. Damn it. Impressed woman. No. Fuck no. I am not performing that again. Damn straight I got a hundred thousand gil. Oh, I feel lightheaded now. Yes, I have finished changing. <laughs> Hi, slushy mouse. I am failing at a game. <laughs> yes, it does kind of smell. Okay, what are you talking about? My helmet totally reeks. My armor's way too big. My back's real itchy. These boots are wet. My gloves are all slimy. There's cookie crumbs in my pockets. Okay, I get the picture. You still have the package, right? Don't worry, I won't screw up as he loses one of the gloves. <laughs> Alright, first I'll go pour some sleep potion in Princess Garnet's teacup. And I've got a special love- a love- <laughs> Scarlet can't speak English, because Scarlet just spent 15 minutes trying to do the damn sword fighting scene that she's usually able to do in one go. According to Recon, the royal seat should be right above these stairs. Got it. Uh-oh, the scene where Marcus sneaks into Cornelia's chamber is about to start. Let's get this over with before the finale, okay? Okay. Go up the stairs, go up the stairs, go up the stairs, 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 stairs. Hmm, she sure is just funny. Oh, I have a voice for this. <clears throat> um, would you please let me pass? Hmm, nope. Let me see. You look suspiciously like that girl who is currently playing this game because she has that outfit. Oh no, you see. I just thought maybe you're the one I've been waiting for all this time. Hitting on her already, Zidon, really? Excuse me? You were waiting for me? Yeah, I've dreamt of meeting you ever since I was born. <laughs> Do you mock me? I don't think he's mocking you, I think he's hitting on you. Then I shall take my leave of you. Just a sec. Haven't we met before? No, I don't know you. Hmm... Maybe you're right. I never let someone as pretty as you get away. Oh, such a ladies' man. That's it on. Who the heck was that? Get up, blank out, Princess Garnet. Are you serious? Everyone's gonna get really high voices, like I sped up the entire recording or something. <clears throat> oh God, we are in trouble. Trouble we are in. This is terrible. Our heads, Queen Brown, will have. We must hurry, hurry, we must. Zorn and Thorn. Weirdest comic relief in this game. Yes, you should probably hurry up. Whatever you have to tell her must be mighty important. That is not the right way. N not the right way, I know. Do you really? No, I really do. 
I really wonder sometimes. The, the time to wonder now is not, because I am Yoda. They speak really, really fast. And I've been trying to learn to slow down when I speak during recordings. See the Queen, we must! Her Majesty is pretty. Come back later. Is it an emergency? I'm an emergency, it is! A veritable emergency of terrible urgency! Very well. I'll see what I can do. Very grateful we will be! We'll be very grateful! So, what exactly is the problem? Her Royal Highness! Princess Garnet is in danger! So I see. Right, right there. No interruptions! Can't you see I am watching the show? Your Majesty, I'm afraid Princess Garnet has. Oh yes, she didn't leave her seat a while ago! Your Majesty, it seems Princess Garnet has run off with the Royal Pendant. Well, well, what could she be thinking? Apparently she wants to get away from you. Captain, uh, Adelbert Steiner. A little bit of Scarlet history here. When I first um, played this game, the first few times I played it, after the very first time, I always called Steiner Rusty. So every time he would get angry at Zidane calling him Rusty, he'd go, I am Adelbert Rusty! <laughs> it's kind of like naming everybody Sephiroth in Final Fantasy VII. Where is everybody? Huh. I don't think they're all present. I think there's like seven or eight of them. Oh, other oh, six. So there is eight. Why you useless good for nothings? I bring orders from the queen. Get dressed and go find Princess Garnet. So you need to remember, after you get a hundred nobles impressed, always, always, always go back here, talk to Braun, and get a moonstone. That's how you get that. 